Okay, how's it going guys? So, I thought I'd do a video on LUTs and colour correction for Vlog on the GH5. Uh, this isn't going to be a how-to, but I'm going to do um, a comparison between a few of the very sort of popular ones uh, and a manual correction. Um, to first of all sort of decide which one might be for you, because this is very, very subjective. Uh, I'll talk about pros and cons of various different LUTs. And I'll also have a little chat about um, the best way to get the vlog out of, you know, good looking vlog out of your uh, GH5 and whether you can actually just do a manual colour correction and whether you actually need to fork out for one of these LUTs, which some of them can, can be quite expensive. So hopefully I can save you a little bit of money if you decide to go that way. Um, I'm not saying don't buy them, I'm just saying here's a look at, you know, what you can do manually without a LUT and also let's have a look at these other LUTs, see if they're any good. So first of all, Quick backstory, I've been using the GH5 since its release. I had the GH4 before that, I had the Vlog on the GH4, so I've been using the Vlog for many years. Uh, I still love this camera and I still love using uh, Vlog. I don't shoot in it all the time, I do shoot in Cine, uh, Cine like D and also uh, in Natural sometimes, depends on the situation. But I do like shooting in Vlog. I would highly recommend really only shooting in Vlog in 10-bit, not in 8-bit. You can get away with it in 8-bit, uh, it depends on the scene. Uh, but it, it just it, it definitely works better in 10 bit. I've done a video previously on um, 8 bit, 10 bit, and when to use them, and you know, what, you know, about that. So here is a, a link to that somewhere down below. So have a look at that if you want to find out more about 10 bit, 8 bit. Anyway, so let's have a look at um, some shots. So first of all, this is some shots out of camera, uh, just with this rig here. So it's just a Sigma 50 millimeter on the XL booster, uh, 10 bit uh, 422. 150 megabit 25p 4k footage uh, and these are just handheld candid shots i tried to get a mixture of different shots we've got beautiful um weather down here in cornwall at the moment um i tried to get a bunch of different skin tones my, my kids uh two of my kids feature in this and both got very very pale sort of skin and we're on the beach getting hit by wind and stuff so they're getting quite ruddy uh, and i think that that's a real challenge for skin tones when uh, skin tone is quite sort of delicate and they're getting sort of red, ruddy face and sort of, you know, wind chapped and all that kind of thing. I think that's really quite difficult, especially in harsh sunlight. So it's very unforgiving. So I specifically sort of chose shots that, you know, I was getting out, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, I was out just getting family shots uh, for the heck of it. But I also thought these are really good um, shots to test with. Obviously not a studio, you know, professional kind of setup um, or just daylight or the rest of it. Um, anyway, so that's the shots. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sort of comparing uh, some of the more popular LUTs on the Vlog. So just just outline for it first of all. So we've got the GH Alex uh, LUT, which is very popular. That one, they tout that as one that can, can sort of make your, uh, your Panasonic GH5 look like a Arri Alexa. You know, that's highly subjective, but that's kind of how they tout that one. Then you've got the standard sort of, you know, the Panasonic official Vlog to 709 LUT, which you just can get for free from, from Panasonic. That has issues, so we'll talk about fixing those issues. Um, Leeming LUT, the, uh, there's a chap called Paul Leeming uh, who does the Leeming LUT. Um, we'll have a look at that one. Uh, now, for my money, his LUTs for Sony are brilliant. For his LUTs for Panasonic have some issues, which we'll, we'll talk about, and we'll talk about how to uh, fix that. Uh, and then we'll also talk about um, and compare just me doing a completely manual colour correction of Vlog, same footage, um, just a tweak of the colours and just, you know, contrast up all the rest of it, just to find out whether you really need uh, a, a LUT, whether you need to buy, you know, get one of these free LUTs or whether you need to actually fork out money because some of these are, you know, go up to like $70, you know, they're not uh, cheap. So do you actually need to pay for them? Um, I've obviously bought a bunch of different LUTs. Also the color grading central LUT is worth looking at, but we won't look at that today. It's, it is a good option, but I thought I'd focus on some of the more, uh, more popular ones and I didn't want to get bogged down with hundreds of LUTs, but I have tried lots of other LUTs. I'm just picking these ones because these are very sort of highly recommended by a great many people. So anyway, so let's have a look at what, what um, we've got here. So let's quickly talk about each LUT in terms. So the GH, GH Alex, keep saying that wrong, uh, LUT, is kind of a whole package and it comes with, there's like a white balance thing, there's a black level uh, thing, there's a pre thing which, which tweaks your colors. Then you've got the main uh, LUT pack, which has the standard one, then you've got a soft one, and then you've got a linear one. And then quite interestingly, you've got a log C one. So this takes the log the vlog footage and transforms it into log c which is basically what comes out of an aria alexa for the you know ari log c 
So then you can then put on top of that um, any sort of Ari LUT that you've ever heard of. You get I'm going to today. I'm going to be using the standard um, Log C to Video 709. So the sort of standard conversion uh, that you just get from Ari for free. Uh, I think quite a few of the sort of you know the the offline editors have, have 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 got them built into it as well, but that for me is that's where the money is. So let's have a quick look at those. So like I said, you get the standard one, then the soft one, uh, then linear, and then log C and the Ari LUT. So this is log C, the GH Alex log C LUT with the uh, log C to video seven hundred nine Ari LUT. So that's got two of those LUTs on, and they've all also got the pre tweak on. So that there's a, an eight bit and a ten bit pre, and I'm gonna there's, there's so much so much information to talk about here, but I'll try to keep it uh, as succinct as possible. So that little pre thing just tweaks the colours that fixes the um, the skin tones primarily, the sort of orange, orange and green and yellow tones. Um, and it doesn't look like it's doing much, but I highly recommend using it because it really does fix quite a few issues that you can. Uh, spot in in your skin tones with uh, with vlog the vlog is kind of sort of known for basically um, so yes yeah, so that's a three like a three layer thing so you have the pre then you have the log c ari lut and then you have the ari lut on top of that um, so that's the one we're going to look going to be looking at because that's personally my favourite I know some people really like the soft some people like the linear some people like the more standard ones but I really like the log c option and then with the ari lut on top of that so that's the one we're going to be looking at today because from my pick. That's the best one out of the the GH Alex sort of package. Obviously, there's lots of more tweaks you can do, but that just that just gets things somewhere where I quite like it basically. So we're going to be looking at that. Then, if we have a look at the um, the standard Panasonic uh, Vlog to Rec 709 LUT that you get free from Panasonic, um, it's known to have issues with skin tones. It tends to make skin look quite ruddy. So if you have a look at this here. So as you can see, my sun, my sun's skin is quite sort of reddish and and kind of slightly looks like it's just been slapped basically. So that tends to be what the Panasonic official light tends to do. Um, you can tweak that manually, but what I thought is I, I I thought I'd try the GH Alex Pre, the 8 bit and the 10 bit. Um, for my money, the 8 bit works better, even when you're working in 10 bit. By the way, so I'm using the 8 bit for these. If you add that onto the standard Panasonic LUT. It kind of fixes the skin tones in quite a pleasant way. So that's the pan official Panasonic LUT with the GH Alex pre tweak onto it. So that's a fairly sort of um, fairly nice look I found basically, and it, it seems to fix a lot of the problems that the official Panasonic LUT has. So that's one of the options we're going to be looking at today. Um, may sound a little bit convoluted, but like I said. Out of the box, the, the, the standard Panasonic LUT has serious skin tone issues. So I thought I'm either going to do a manual correction, but at least with this way, it's just two things just bolted on uh, out of the box, basically. Now, coming on to the Leeming LUT. Now, for my money, the Leeming LUT for Sony cameras, for you know S Log 2, S Log 3, is really, really good. Like, really, really good. Like, some of the, one of some of the best ones I've ever come across when it comes to getting accurate colour. But when it comes to the Leeming LUTs for Panasonic, I personally feel like they've built them wrong from the ground up. What I mean by that is they're very much set up completely differently to any other LUT I've ever come across for for Vlog. Is that they're they're set that you, they're set up that you massively overexpose in the first place. Now I've done tests previously. There's a, I'll give you a link down below to a dynamic. Um, range test on the GH5 and, and kind of I talk about what I think the sweet spot is for exposing for vlog uh, and for my money around about a stopover is about right. Um, bear in mind that the, the Panasonic EV meter automatically adjusts your uh, EV readout to a stop upwards it adds a stop on basically uh, automatically so when you're shooting when it's saying zero in the camera and you're shooting vlog it's actually recording one stop over already so bear that in mind there's a lot of people don't um, don't pick up on that and so it can kind of mess you up a little bit so for my money one stop over is about right but the leaming LUTs are set up that you, you, you shoot pretty much two full stops over so what happens is here here's the same shot out of camera and let's put the leaming LUT onto it as you can see, it just completely knocks the pants. You know, it brings everything right down. Um, so that's what it looks like coming out of the box. Now, obviously, in an ideal world, I'd shoot exactly the same scenes again, um, specifically for the Leeming LUT. But again, I, I, that's obviously difficult for what I'm doing for these tests. And it's also 
you know, it's also a bit, un I wanted to show a bunch of different LUTs on the same footage to show what it was going to do to it. That to me feels fairer. So to level the playing field, I'm going to do a bunch of um, adjustments to the leaming LUT just to get it into the same ballpark. So I'm going to lower its, its um, percentage so it's not actually affecting the footage as much. And then I'm going to bring the contrast down. And, and as you can see, these are the adjustments that I'm doing to the leaming LUT just to put it in the same kind of ballpark with the other LUTs. Because the, the, the color correction that it's doing is still doing the same color correction but I'm obviously just tweaking it mainly to fix the exposure because like I said for my money the leaming LUT is set up it's set it's kind of set up as if it's an S-Log3 profile because like in S-Log3 you are meant to expose like two, well over two stops over to get things right the GH5 isn't like that it starts to clip highlights as soon as you start to overexpose that amount quite quite quickly so I think the, the leaming LUT for Panasonic is set up a bit wrong from the sort of ground up but it's highly rated and you can get good effects out of it you just have to either shoot the way he says which i don't recommend or or amend um, the LUT yourself to get it to bring it in line with the kind of footage that you're used to shooting already um, and then for the fourth one let's have a look at just me doing a manual correction complete manual correction no LUTs um, nothing massively complicated I, there's a bit of a hue um, tweak that I do to the, the sort of the red tones the orange tones um, and I basically just put lots of contrast on and, and all the rest of it um, it tends to come out warmer because that just that tends to be what I gravitate towards I'm not really trying to grade it but I just find naturally when I tweak colors to how I want them uh, they tend to just come out a bit warmer so mine mine are the sort of warmer tones um, compared to the other ones um, I, I could have spent a bit longer on it and, br and brought it more in line but I just went with my gut and I thought that looks about nice you know that's just a manual correction for me it's not a heavy grade or anything it's just it's just slightly warmer than the others but that's just because that's kind of my what my eye is drawn towards and so it's just how it came out anyway so that's the sort of four things that we're going to look at so let's uh, let's have a look at those and like I say this is highly. This is kind of. It's always going to be subjective. So I would like your your feedback. Uh, which one do you think is the best out of these four? Do you think you know my manual correction is is terrible? Is it really bad? Is it is it the best one? Is it the worst one? You know, whatever. Um, obviously, you know, I, I couldn't really just give you an out of the box side by side for all of these because they all have individual issues. Um, but anyway, let's have a look. Like I said, so my favorite GH Alex um, LUT, which is technically it's an ARRI LUT on top of the the log C conversion uh, with the pre and all the other tweaks that GH Alex uh, give you but that is out of the box basically the V-log is out of the box but with that pre GH Alex pre tweak to the color to fix those skin tones on the on the standard one the leaming LUT is highly modified just to put it in the same ballpark as the other ones and then the fourth one is my completely manual uh, correction so anyway Let's have a look and tell me what you uh, think. And yeah, I'll be interested to hear your feedback. And I'll probably do another one of these and I'll look into some other LUTs as well. Like I said, the color grading central one is, is pretty pretty nice. Um, and maybe people want to see like a full a full sort of a soft linear and you know all the other GH Alex and there's tons of other LUTs I could I could sort of do you know multiple comparisons on if you're interested in looking at them I, I own quite a lot of LUTs I, I tend to buy a lot and test them out so just ask me if you want to see those anyway let's have a look at this and then yeah, give me your feedback on what you think is best. Mm -hmm.